passed the test of time. My focus was to create a machine that delivered as much value as possible for as many people as I could. I did this by launching my own product range. I took the designs that I drew as a kid and turned them into products I could sell across the world. By making your own brand, you can stand out from everyone else and also have a scalable business that you can sell further down the line. Here's one of the products I designed. It's actually the most popular model aircraft in the UK today. I had to travel around the world to find all the parts and a manufacturer to make it. You can easily invest more than two years into developing your own brand before you see any sales, so it is a long-term commitment. I've been following Ben Francis's journey with his brand Gymshop with great interest. Less than 10 years ago, he started making his own gym clothes from his home with a little sewing machine as an online side hustle while he was delivering pizzas for Pizza Hut. He's now managed to turn Gymshark into a huge business. Your brand can be anything from radio control models, clothing, or even some kind of app. I'm sure that Ben never imagined that in a shorter space as 10 years, he'd be the owner of a billion dollar brand. Maybe you could be the links in the descriptions of my videos that are relevant and beneficial to you guys, such as free stocks from platforms like Webull and Trading212, and a link to all the filming equipment that I use. So if any of that does interest you, feel free to take a look. But ultimately, it's all about the supreme tier. The main goal at this stage is to build your own brand, as it'll lock. Now let's get into creating and selling digital product, as the profits you can make are much higher. A friend of mine created a bundle of templates for Instagram, and she sells them for $30 per download. Last year, she made a quarter of a million dollars. Now that's pretty amazing. A digital product can be many things, from these Instagram templates to eBooks and online courses. If you invest your your time making these then you can sell them year on year and never run out. It started is with an e-commerce business like dropshipping or Amazon FBA. Neither of these require you to have warehouses like me so you can get started with just a laptop. These types of businesses seem to get a lot of hate as people think that they're all about selling cheap and shoddy products from China. The truth is that nearly everything you buy is made in China these days and most is of a pretty high quality but unfortunately you only ever seem to hear the horror stories and the scams. You don't need a lot of money to start drop shipping as you don't have to buy any stock. But one thing you do need is good digital marketing skills to make your products that you're selling stand out from others in an extremely competitive market. Lots of people don't take the time to learn these skills and they just go for it with drop shipping because they see people like Beer Hezer making fortunes and they think anyone can do it. The truth is it's like anything, it takes time and commitment. You may remember Jack from one of my previous videos. He's doing very well with Amazon FBA. He finds products from China that are either very popular or very unique, and then he sells them through Amazon. He has to commit and buy the stock, but he doesn't have to store the products himself, as he can just ship them to Amazon's warehouse, and they take care of the rest. If you have a chat with Jack, he'll tell you that this is superior to drop shipping, as you have access to so many customers on the Amazon platform, so you don't have to advertise your products. But I would say that this comes with the cost of losing your customer data so it's completely up to you. Then video editing might be for you. If you have a computer, then you probably have some kind of video editing software. Apple Macs are great because they come with iMovie. Filmmakers are often looking for people that can edit their videos quickly and to a high standard, as this means they can take on more filming jobs. I know this because my son Curtis has actually hired an editor to help him with projects, and he's also looking for a few more. There are also a lot of great YouTubers out there that need help with this, and it's a great way to build good connections. The most important thing is that you're able to produce good edits quickly and are able to stick to a deadline. Being trustworthy and reliable really makes you stand out and get more clients. Now for the alpha tier. This is all about taking a few of the skills we've already mentioned and combining them. Think of it a bit like Minecraft, as you're taking the raw materials, which are the skills, and crafting them into something more valuable. This is really the point when you can start generating some passive income. An easy way to get website these days, and most people are lacking the skills all the time, to build one themselves. So if this interests you, then why not sell your web design services? I know two teenagers that decided to take up web design, and they went in two totally different directions. One decided he'd use website builders such as Squarespace, which means he only had to sort of edit really simple templates to build a basic site for his clients. The other decided to code bespoke websites from the ground up for larger clients that wanted something more original. Now both are very successful at what they do, but they serve entirely 
three different markets at different price points. You'd get paid more for a bespoke site, however, this takes a lot more time to learn. If you like something a little bit more simple to pick, you should try copywriting. This is the art of selling a product through writing. This is like being a salesperson, but reaching out to everyone. You can write sales pages, ads for Facebook, email newsletters, the list goes literally on and on. And the more you specialize in one specific area, the more you learn. I first learned about the art of copywriting when I read an amazing book called Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Swartz. This book currently sells for over $200 a copy and it's considered the holy grail in the copywriting world. This just proves how in demand copywriting services are. If your writing is able to convince lots of people to buy, then you're able to justify charging really high prices as effectively you're paying your own wages. This couldn't be more true true than for the guy who took three weeks of studying to come up with the winning concept for a Rolls Royce advert. The final headline read, at 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise in a Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. It took him a while, but he managed to find a golden nugget that people still remember to this day. His skill with copywriting made him a small fortune. Now, no business can survive long without a good great side hustle as an online tutor, and it's still going strong today. Before the illness happened, I probably wouldn't have added this one to the list, as most people wanted in-person tutors. However, I really think the world has changed. If you're talented, at a particular subject, it may be a great option to teach it online. She advertised her services on Facebook, and before she knew it, her DMs were full of potential clients. So if you find the right Facebook groups, the demand is sky high. The great thing about doing it online is that you cut out all the travel time, which means you can work with more people and earn more money. You also don't have to just work for people in your local area, as you can teach anyone anywhere in the world. If you're doing this in your spare time, you should be able to expect a good $50 plus per day. If you enjoy writing, then make money online through freelance graphic design. For this type of work, no one cares about your school grades. Instead, your past work acts as your qualifications, so it's really important to build a great portfolio to seal the deal with your clients. When hiring someone new, I feel more comfortable if they offer their services for free, as it reduces the risk for me and gives them a way to build their portfolio. I know that working for free sounds like a waste of time, but it's a great way to check out the competition and also see how to price your services. Once you have a solid portfolio, you can either go directly to your clients or offer graphic design services on websites like Fiverr that already have a huge marketplace. If you're good, there's no reason why you couldn't be earning $150 per day in your spare time. How about this next one? When everything locked down in early 2020, my son's girlfriend had a good things that comes to mind is being a social media manager for small businesses. I've actually just hired someone to help me post more on my Instagram. That reminds me, if you haven't already followed me, drop me a follow at Real Mark Tilbury for regular posts and updates. The person I've hired is great as she's able to look at the graphs and the numbers and tell me how everything's performing. All I have to do is supply the content, reply to you guys and the rest is all taken care of. I found my social media manager through her own page. I could see how passionate and talented she was and after a quick chat, I knew I had to hire her. So if you want to stand out, it's probably a good idea to imagine you are your first client by marketing your own social media accounts. If you spend time learning how to maximize your accounts, then you'll be able to offer your future clients a much better service. As you start working with more businesses, you can slowly up your prices and before you know it, you'll be making more than $150 per day. Over 600,000 new businesses are started every year in the USA and guess what they all need? A logo. So if you're a creative person, why not learn how to use photo editing software? Then you can use your skills to make $50 that day. A more long-term example is selling vintage clothing online, and one of my friends does exactly that. She finds them through poorly advertised eBay listings, and you can do a similar thing by using a website called Typo Hound. This is really cool because it looks through all of the misspelled items on eBay, so you can buy with a lower competition and get a great bargain. She cleans the clothes and does any repairs needed, then she dresses her mannequins so she can take great photos and she posts them on social media. You know what? It's so successful she struggles to get enough clothes. So if I can sell dirty pavement slabs and my friend can sell secondhand clothes, 
I'm sure there's something in your house that you can sell and start making a profit. Next up is the mid-tier. This is all about going out and selling your skills. These online side hustles require more upfront work to begin with, but as you develop your skills, you'll be able to charge a lot more than the average person, as you're providing more value, and this of course equals higher pay. Well, next up is selling items on Facebook Marketplace. This is such a great way to sell things without having to deal with postage or selling fees. Recently, I had my backyard ripped up as we're having a total redesign and I was left with 400 heavy concrete slabs. Now I could either pay to have them taken away and dumped for me or find some sort of alternative option and you know me I don't like wasting money, so I put them up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I thought it's got to be worth a go, isn't it? Later that day, my phone exploded with messages from people all over my area asking if they could come and get some of my slabs. I couldn't believe it. People came and removed my garbage, and I didn't even have to lift a finger. The best part of all, though, I made an extra 600 of them. The first idea I have for you is flipping Instagram theme pages. These are pages that are focused on specific subjects. When I first heard that you can make money from flipping these, I was quite shocked. Back in my day, I had to buy actual physical products like cars, but now this actually makes complete sense. Just think about it. When was the last time you scrolled on Instagram and didn't see a sponsored post? They're everywhere, aren't they? This just shows brands are putting loads of money into Instagram adverts, which makes the pages more valuable. If I were you, I'd only buy pages with active followers and continue to grow them by posting regularly. I would pick a car theme page, as I used to race cars myself, so I know the niche has a big demand from advertisers. Here's my old crash helmet, custom painted with my logo, Tilbo Flying 7. Great days. Next